Uh, this is going to be just kind of an introduction to um, a new um, Drupal podcast module for people to use. Anyway, if you want to um, grab some of this code here, um, you have to be a member. You have to log in, and yet you can check out the commits um, in there, um, and you should be used to that. Um, depending on when you see this video, obviously. Okay. Anyway, um, let's um, just kind of take you through how this kind of works. So I've got a test site here. And once we've got the module code, we just stick it in our sites all module folder. Um, we go to you know pod, find it, find it. It's another at the moment. Um, and podcast. We'll just click her on. You'll see the configuration options have been saved. We roll on down, um, and then we got our help and our permissions. Now permissions, I guess, is just um, you know if you have other admin type users um, that want to be able to add. Pod yeah, podcast admin podcast allow users to admin podcasts. Um, probably just administrator at this point. Uh, but anyway, let's um, have a little look. We'll go back here. Uh, then we can click on the old help section, and you can see um, there's a little useful link to the iTunes um, podcasting documentation. Don't really need to use iTunes. People can subscribe themselves, but um, that is a good thing to have. Anyway, um, now we're just going to admin our podcast, and so. What we do is we uh, can see we haven't created any podcast yet, um, so we've we'll got to create a new podcast. So basically, we just tick that, and it has, you can give it a podcast title, um, the link. So basically, that's like the landing page, um, you know, so where uh, another place where people can subscribe. Um, the the copyright of this um, subtitle, just a shorter, uh, you know, link description podcast author so the public display of that and the general uh, podcast description and summary um, that's um, you know fill it out obviously podcast author account name this is actually going to be your own iTunes um, name so if it's Dave Smith you're going to type in D-A-V Dave Smith but mine's not Dave Smith and the also your um, <clears throat> uh, author account email um, we'll just keep on going a little bit more. Is, is it explicit? Um, probably yes or no. Um, yeah, and then the category. At the time of doing this video, you, you, by the time it actually gets released, this category is going to change. So you probably will be able to put in a comma separated uh, category list. Right now it's just got music. Um, go figure. Anyway, full full link um, to the, the cover photo. And now that's required by iTunes. And it's got to be a 1400 by 1400 pixels uh, JPEG or PNG um, templates, of which will be available at the documentation page. Now, this podcast old items, uh, what that is uh, section is if you have episode like past episodes or items, uh, mainly you know item. You know, here we go. There's probably two years worth of podcasts right there. If you select your old feed paste it in there and hit submit um, that's going to be at the bottom of your feed so that you don't have to add these things one by one anyway I'll fill this out and we'll continue alright so I've just filled out this form uh, titles test, test podcast just roll on down here none of this is very important uh, um, at the moment well it is when you actually go live um, but this is just to kind of prove the point that it works um, anyway podcast Dave email at email full valid link to podcast now that's this assumes this module assumes that you have FTP access or use some sort of other module like the media module or something like that to upload your files. Um, generally, um, meaning uh, sometimes server uploads are a lot bigger than if you were you know to send up like an hour long video podcast or an hour long audio um, thing, and so you're going to get unless you have your own VPS, um, you'll know how to get around that. Anyway. Um, old items for now I'm gonna leave this blank and so I can just show you that a little bit later but I'm just gonna submit that and I'll say podcast created um, and now in my podcast management I have the name of my podcast I have just the same crud uh, edit you know delete um, or manage podcast items now when I click this title um, it gives me the link on my field well this is an overlay I'm gonna get rid of the overlay bloody module I like it, but it gives me shit sometimes. Anyway, um, 
so that there's our, our link but also it, like it has an ID of one um, but if you only have one podcast it's uh, like that's the short URL for that so it'll be your site.com slash podcast will be the URL for the um, for your podcast or just click the link in there and it'll give you the um, the link um, maybe we'll get rid of overlay just because you know I do like you overlay all right anyway so here's our um, if we want to create a new one obviously drop her down and uh, create another one and you'll see it up there and you can manage edit and delete there um, so podcast items so what we want to do is we click on podcast items and it's the same sort of thing podcast items you have you have not created any pod podcast items yet so I'm going to um, add a new podcast item and basically we're trying to reuse some of the stuff that we've already used because uh, because uh, generally you know if you've set it up in the in the right way um, you don't really need to change the summary unless you really change something drastically different um, let's, um, you know what's my my item here um, some simple Pink Floyd or something like that um, author Pink Floyd it's not so this is why okay I'm gonna just change the author to that to, to that at the moment because I can't take credit um, and podcast okay, so title this is my sweet subcat um, this is just a good song by Pink Pink Floyd oh god I got get push <laughs> all right anyway this is a short description we'll, we'll just go like that we can change it it overrides the default so you can put it in there now we're gonna need a media URL um, and this is only on my local host so um, everything's gonna be fine um, podcast item size so basically you know that's gonna be the size in um, kilobytes um, which is that so we'll throw in our kilobytes or if you're looking at it on a live version you know you're getting your file size from there um, in kilobytes um, play length that's what it's gonna be seven that's as long as it is it's MPEG it is not video or QuickTime or anything it's just mp3 I want it to be published today at 1 a.m. No, yeah, 4 a.m. Yeah, burning the midnight oil. Um, anyway, save. So now that we have our, you know, Pink Floyd action, and we made a mistake. Maybe I want to capital that. Obviously, we can go in here and you know change that Pink Floyd and update. So now we go back to podcast admin here. <coughs> So now we have our, um, we can go back here and we can refresh. Right. So now this is um, properly formatted XML uh, about for uh, for iTunes. Now, in order to validate this or you know test it or whatever, what we can do is we can grab our URL here. We can go into iTunes. Um, we can hit Alt. Is that? Yep. File. Subscribe to podcast. Throw in the URL. Okay. Right. Anyway, so <laughs> anyway, it does work. Um, so here, here's my episode and whatnot. Um, and it just has this is a good song by Pink Floyd, and basically, um, that's what shows up. Um, so anyway, if we want to, uh, we can um, play these things and better, um, and or input it better, so you have full control over it, and add uh, URL validation to these uh, um, to URL fields other than that uh, we if you want um, you know more information or whatever we can just go to uh, sandbox because the links will be in the description got him a mumbler see ya